Didn't um, you get that? Yeah, yeah. It, uh, they're uh, they're nice. Yeah, they're definitely more comfortable. If that, oh, okay. If that's what you're looking for. Yeah, I, I want to get another pair of A40s, the new ones, but I don't like the fucking colors of both of them. Like, the white one is just, first of all, it's fucking white. I don't want a white headset. And then the black one, it has, like, some dirty gold color, and I fucking hate it. <laughs> God. The mix amp looks kind of ugly, too, so I, I don't even want to buy them. I don't want to spend 300 bucks right now for, like, something I don't even like how it looks, really. <laughs> rather just wait yeah. till some new ones come out. Yeah. That's why I got these. Costs like that, you definitely want to make it worthwhile. You don't want to spend it on something that... You may or may not like. I mean, well, may or may not like really is, yeah. like, you kind of have to try it out to see whether you like it or not. But you want to, with, with a price like that, you want to be sure that you want to buy that, not, like, just blow it. Yeah, because I had to get all new, a whole new setup because I got a PC from my dad's house, so I needed to get a new fucking keyboard, I needed to get a new fucking mouse, a new headset. Oh my God. Whenever I have my headset in, you are now entering a safe area. Game volume, yeah, it's like that for me. Well, it's only like that for me for Destiny. Actually, most games are kind of loud. Yeah, like at, at least like when I have it on full volume, it's loud as shit. But, like when I, I have to put it like literally almost all the way down for it to be like, you know, enough that uh, Morning. it doesn't. Like, you are now leaving the safe area. Yeah. Right. Have you ever watched The Forest? I mean, I watched, I like seen the the video game The Forest. Have you ever watched gameplay of it? The Forest. Um. New. No. It's like a survival game, and holy fuck, dude, we all bought it. Like oh, Ice, Nick, Chris, and uh, Darkstar. <laughs> dude, it's pretty fucking fun. <laughs> it's actually really. Um, the movement on it's really nice. The sensitivity is fucking crazy though. Like you, when you turn the sensitivity to zero, it's still pretty fucking fast. <laughs> but it's honestly pretty fun. We fucking already had to restart three times though, because we kept, we kept fucking up our own base. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. It's a forest. Uh, like, how would you describe it? It's like, it's a survival game, so literally you spawn in, in a crashed airplane, and then you collect all the resources and, uh, in the airplane, and then pretty much you just need to survive, so you go to an area where you can build a base, and pretty much to build a base you need logs, so you cut down trees. It's not too hard, it's just like, you know, it's just time consuming, like you gotta build a lot of shit. And then, uh, there's like, uh, is it multiplayer? Like, I guess... like you play against Morning. people? Hostile presence detected. Well, uh, not multiplayer. Like, it, so there's like the single player version, and there's like I guess the multiplayer version. So like, what what we do is like Nick just creates a server and he invites all of us. So then we're all playing together and we all have like our own big ass base. Oh, so is it kind of like Minecraft? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, honestly, it's like Minecraft, just like not in pixel form it's like an actual video game <laughs> yeah. yeah and like yeah i we can all play together and like you know we build our base and then we kill people together and then we go in like these fucking tunnels and then you find resources and then you can starve to death and <laughs> it's oh just God. a survival but it's like i don't know it's kind of fun just because it's something different like i never really played that yeah. game before and it feels pretty fucking smooth like i like the movement i don't know and then you have like stamina it's just like yeah your basic survival game you you can crap no, you, you can't. You can craft shit, and then you can find weapons and stuff like that. So, yeah, it, it's pretty fucking cool, honestly. <clears throat> it's not a bad game. But I heard it's fucking old. I didn't know it's been out for a while. Dude, 
there is literally nothing I want to play right now. I'm so fucking bored of everything. <laughs> oh that was gonna get ugly real fast. What? Thanks for the help. Well, thank you so much. That was, was terrible. Holy shit! I'm only oh, like level six in division. <laughs> I couldn't play anymore. I got so tired of it. I got I got so slow with it because I uh, what I do I li you know like there's like areas like it's like they're all like shapes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. Wait, what I do? I literally uh, do each. Like I, I do them like area by area, and I do the the like the main missions first, and then I do the uh, the side missions, then I do the encounters, then I get all the the freaking collectibles and the intel, and then I move on to the next area. So it goes like super freaking slow. <laughs> Yeah, the only problem with that game is, I don't know if it's because, like, I just got bored of it so fast. I don't know if it's because, like, you know, we did a lot of that shit already on console, but, like, I hate how, I just feel like I'm on a constant fucking cycle. Like, I'm just doing this and running back and doing this and doing this. Yeah, I, I, mean, I don't know. That's yeah, the only problem with it. Yeah. Um, I, I know what you mean. Um, yeah, I, 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 I get feel that feeling like, uh, like, like I'm good. doing strikes. Non-stop, indefinitely. That's how I feel. And then I'm going to the tower to open engrams. That's honestly how I feel. I can't oh fucking see it. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish that the, um, at this point, would have added some sort of vehicular transportation. Because, like, mm -hmm. just, I, I, I'm literally being reminded of how painful it is to literally have to run to everything. And it's like... And so it You'll takes so out. long. Like if there was some, if you could fast travel to whatever you want, or if you could, uh, if there was some sort of like faster transportation, well, it's just not a good time. Um, things It'd would be go a hell like, of a lot faster, which would would have been nice. Um, also, uh, um, when you like, there there were a couple times where I um where I've died, um, and uh, I had to run all the way back to it and like a pretty good distance too and uh, because like the closest thing would be like a, a a safe house and like that would still be like a good distance away and it's like oh I gotta run all the way back to it and it's like it's pretty painful yeah that's why I don't know I I, I don't like it Now that's what I call an improvement agent. I think uh, you should charge more. I just think like the one thing, ow, ow, ow. the one thing that a uh, division, uh, whether it always had it or not, I don't know. Excellent. Like, the one thing that I decontamination know, facilities that a have been a long time coming. Now like, we can store at least like with Destiny gear. 2 especially. You know you want just the I'm fact selling. that like there's just so much more to do. Um, and like, so many more things, like, to, to get, like, end game loot out of, and like, that the loot system is actually, like, much more rewarding, too, so, yeah, I mean, it's good in that way, I guess. Yeah. And like, the system is much more complicated, like, the whole, like, skills, and the talents, and the, the yeah. Oh, like the, the weapon and armor combos and the mods and all that. It's super duper complex. Which, like, I think people would like Destiny more if it had a complex system like that. But I don't think that's what Bungie was, was going for. I think they wanted it to be as casual and friendly as possible so anyone could, even a fucking dumbass could do it. Yeah, I don't know, like... All units be advised. I don't know, Scout Destiny's spotted just, a cleaner it's kinda hard to make, like, 23rd. Destiny good. Avoid just because the area. Like, I like, I don't like, the, okay, the one thing I didn't like about Destiny 1, now that I think about it, like... But then that's also what made the game good, but like... I don't, I, I hated, like, you know, when you, it's like you had to play Destiny 1 every fucking 
day kind of, you know, or else you're like behind, you know? Yeah. And I kind of hate that because it's like, I want to play other shit too, like, you know, it, I don't know, I just hated that fucking feeling, like, like every single weekend, every single weekend I'd be like, fuck man, I gotta play Destiny, you know? Like once I, because I wouldn't play during the week usually because of school, but every fucking weekend it was like, oh, I gotta play, I gotta play or else, like, you're already fucking, you know? I mean, that's not bad, that's cool, but then at the same time, like, I don't want to have to play Destiny all the fucking time, you know? Like, I right now, I kind of like how Destiny's kind of dead, because I'm able to play CS, I'm able to play the fourth. I can play whatever the fuck I want without having a need to go play Destiny, you know what I mean? So yeah. I do like that in Destiny 2, that's not the fact, but then I think that's also the reason why there's no fucking content. So I, I I don't know, like, that's what I'm saying, I don't know how they can balance that. Morning. Yeah. And then, like, yeah. either, like, yeah, you have a game you where there's not a lot, uh, like, where you don't make people feel like they need to play every day or else they're behind, or you have a game where, like, it's, like, grindy and, like, it's, a uh, uh, you know, like, you need to, it makes you feel like you need to play every day or else, like, you're fine. Yeah, exactly. See, that's the, yeah. that's like the biggest problem with Destiny that it's always had, that they've always had with it, is just that they make it one way, and then people are like, oh, why is it like this? Like, I wish it was like this. And then they try to make it like that, and they're like, oh, why is it like this now? I wish it was back like this. And then they go back to it, and then they, you can't win. The community wants this. They do that, and then they want it back the other way. Then they do that, and then they want it back the other way. See, there's nothing but Bungie stuff. Like, they've always been stuck. Dude, honestly, they, like, everyone complains about how bad Bungie is, but, like, like all these streamers, like, you know who pisses me off the most is fucking, what's his name, Wish You Luck? I absolutely yeah. hate that fucking dude, because he bitches the most, and I'm like, dude, you're one of the fucking reasons why Destiny is in its place. Like, Des Bungie is not a shit fucking company. It's just, it listened to everybody like a yeah. good company. And the game turned to shit. Literally, Destiny 2 is what people wanted. Like, Destiny won all the complaints. Guess what? They fixed it, to be honest. For the most did, part, yeah. they fixed the game. But now it's in a shit position because they listened to everyone. So it's like, like, people keep saying how bad Bungie is. And it's kind of like, I mean, they're kind of good in the I'm fact that they fucking... Approaching listen to its community you know but then it, i mean yeah they are bad too like don't get me wrong they're slow on a lot of shit like there's they glitches absolutely. and they take a long time but like but like in terms of listening to the community they did a good fucking job <laughs> but i mean i don't know it kind of sucks but i think they need to i see i i honestly just think destiny 2 is done like they, i i don't know like i they can't really come out with destiny 3 already because like it's just really gonna show how much of a failure destiny 2 was but, I mean, they can't really just change everything about Destiny 2, you know? Like, I don't... You might as well start from scratch and create another game, so... I don't know, like, it's kind of hard for them to do shit, but... I, I didn't think Destiny 2 was that shit of a game, to be honest. Like, I, I still got my enjoyment out of it. Like, I, I, lo I loved it, you know, the raids. Every raid, I always liked the raid, you know? I think they always do a good job. I mean, Leviathan was pretty fucking fun to me. You know, I like the puzzles, I like... I'm always gonna like the raids. They did a good job on the strikes. It's just, yeah, like, there's no incentive to play in a game. But yeah, that's... I mean, that's what makes a game good, is the grind. The grind of it. I mean, that's really why Destiny 1 was so good. Yeah. Because, I, like, I mean, there was just a constant grind. Yeah, I think, like, with games like Destiny and... And, and like, Warframe... Like, basically, games that just don't end, really. Like, that... You know, like, the set periods of... Of, uh, or time, uh, really time release content, and, like, you know, they just, have, they have a long lifespan. Um, the, the, the thing you want to do that a developer should do to, like, want to keep people playing and, like, you know, keep drawing in more people is, um, just... Asian. Have it complex, having have it grindy, have it, uh, just, um, Ugh. you know, make the Alla content, Blada. like, lasses, like, long as possible, yeah. like, make oh. things difficult, like, Ugh. add, like, multiple difficulties with, you know, like, so there's just so much, like, that, it's not, like, overwhelming amount of stuff, 
but it still is a lot to do. Like, you want people to feel like they, you know, like, they want to come Active back, like, like they want to keep playing, like, they don't want to stop, like, you know, you want, uh, yeah, you want to draw that, that feeling out of people. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, Bungie's like, eh, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I did like Destiny 2, like, how they made it more casual, because, like, I want a lot of people to play the game. You know, like, I want a big-ass community. Like, I, I, I did like how Destiny 2 was a little more casual, because I want more people to play the game, you know? Especially bringing it to PC. Most PC yeah. players are not into the grind. I mean, like, like Counter-Strike. Like, Counter-Strike, I mean, it's a grindy game, but it's grindy Crucible. It's not grindy PvE, you know? Right. So, like, it's good that they made it more casual, but, like, make it more casual, but there's still a lot of content, you know? And then, like, PvP, they kind of fucked up, because... Like, obviously, like, literally, Giggs is not even playing Destiny. He's playing Fortnite right now. That's pretty oh fucking crazy. That's pretty fucking crazy. So, like, at least when Destiny 3, I mean, Destiny 1, what was it, year year 3, when it was dead, like, kind of dying down, everyone was still playing because of how good PvP was. Even though it was AIDS, but everyone was still playing, you know, everyone was playing the sticky nade me meta. Yeah. But Destiny 2, like, there's not, like, PvP's not even fun, so it's like... The game's really fucking dead. So they they definitely need to make PvP good again. And I think another thing is, I, I want to feel powerful again. Like I want the exotics to be fucking crazy. Yeah, they uh they didn't really do very well making exotics seem like just legendary weapons, really. And like there <laughs> are like legendary worse. weapons that are <laughs> better than exotics, and it's like uh what? Yeah. Like why? Yeah, I think that's- I honestly think that's one of the biggest reasons, too, just cause, like... I don't know, Exotics is, like, what makes the game fun, you know? Like, even in Fortnite, it's like, once you get a gold scar, it's like, holy shit, you found a gold scar. You know, it's like, you get happy, and that's just fucking playing a Battle Royale game. So in yeah. Destiny, when you get a good fucking Exotic, it's, like, 20 times better. So, I don't know, that's why they need to make all- I think all Exotics should be powerful and equally powerful. So you really have to think which one you want to use. Mm -hmm. Like, there should never be a shit. Yeah, like I think what opinion. they should have done with like Destiny 2 is just um, reinvented exotics to where uh, the exotics, each exotic has its own situational use. Like, oh, like this weapon, this exotic weapon is good for this encounter. This exotic weapon is good. For so on and so on. So like that, like when if you're whatever, when you go into an activity, you're like, okay, I'm going, I'm going into this activity. Oh, it's this thing. All right, so I pull this exotic out. Bam. So you just know, like it, it gives you like, you know that. Uh, uh, well done, agent. Uh, yeah. Just please make sure to yeah. wash your hands. I, I think, can't I imagine think that what kind of germs are on those pretty... things. So like, it, you know, it, it uh, gives. It at least gives each exotic like um, a, a reason, use, like a place that you would use it. <laughs> yep. Another thing I noticed, I don't know what it is, but like in Destiny One, even in strikes, like I remember a lot of the bosses, you know, like Ella, what is it, Ella Coom, and just the fucking Shield Brothers, <laughs> Valis Tark. Like I remember them, but like in Destiny Two, like I can't even name one boss, honestly. Like I can't really think of a boss. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just me, but I can't really remember a shit. Same thing, like, you know, in fucking, in Destiny 1, you know, on Earth, you you know all the fucking little spots, you know, like, you know, fucking Skywatch and just all of those, yep. you know, but then Destiny 2, like, I I mean, I know Firebase, Hades, I know a couple of them, but it just doesn't stick with me like it does in Destiny 1. I don't know what the fucking thing is about that. Yeah. Yeah, I just remember, like, um... Just, uh, like, e even with, like, uh, like, I don't know, public events, like, even really, like, um, in Destiny 1. Agent, we've that, got uh, some distress signals. Hey, hang on a minute. <laughs> um, like, how, whenever, like, you know, I don't know, content or something would come out, and, like, there would be stuff like related to public hey, events how we would all just signal. like 
be pulling up that public event tracker thing, and like, we would just be running around just waiting for it, and like, it wouldn't bother us, because like, you know, we're having fun and stuff, and so like, yeah, it's just like, um, it, it's really like, just the things that, you know, like, are memorable, you know, that, like, create, you know, fun memories and shit, and it's like, Destiny 2 just didn't really, I mean, I honestly, even though it hasn't, obviously it doesn't out but, um, like, at least initially, um, holy shit, yeah. um, like, at least initially, like, yeah, Um, I not really had that, like, impact, like, stuff right now. Most of it just doesn't really, uh, uh like, um, doesn't really, you know, create a lot of memorable times and shit. Yeah. Like the raid, oh. the raid, the raid. Oh, why am I on fire? What the fuck? Um, um, like the raid and the raid layer, and eh, maybe trials. I don't know. Um, and honestly, like I like some strikes. Some strikes I think uh, for me are pretty cool. Um, but like you know stuff that like we all like all did together. Like that that stuff's. It's fun and you know memorable in its own way, but like it's just um I don't know it's just wasn't yeah, it's a like feel yeah it wasn't as right big as with Destiny but you know yeah that shit too wasn't bad when it first. Generator stabilized. Warning, hostiles have been detected. I like it more than a controller though. I don't know, I like the movement. Yeah, I, I like that I, um, I think the one thing that I like the most about it is just the fact that, like, I could be, like, super responsive because, like, the mouse just, I can just move as fast as I want. Yeah. Yeah, and you're able to control your sensitivity. It's just the. And, um, yeah, no, other than that, I think not like pressing buttons and shit. 
Yeah, honestly, I think I'm probably done with console once, like, next time there's another PS5, like the PS5 or whatever, I'm not gonna get it probably. Just gonna stick straight to fucking, uh, because there's no games to play on console for me anymore, like, what is there really to play? Yeah, I mean, like, stuff that you guys play, like, I don't know, yeah, PS, yeah. Fortnite, um, what else you PUBG. I mean, there's just so much more, like, yeah, and uh, literally, if I get a get console, into, into League of Legends now, too, so that's PC. Yeah, most of the stuff that, like, you guys play, like, even if it's on console, it's most likely also on PC, so why not just play on PC? Exactly. Like, Paragon, for example, I is well, I so played it on that console for, like, terrifying. Uh, a good long no, I need while, to get the hell out of here. Once, uh, I figured out it was on PC, and then, um, when you, uh, you know, like, you know, said, like, I just tried on PC, and then I did, I'm like, oh, this is, like, way better. So, yeah, and then, uh, that pretty much got me into PC, and then playing Destiny 2 on PC pretty much got me comfortable with PC. Yeah. Because, like, it's, you know, quick movement, and, like, um, you know, quick buttons, Pressing, responsive pressing, so yeah, that really uh, just and then playing Division Two, so like going in between like these three games just made a made it really easy to get comfortable with PC. Yeah, I only play console when my friends on console want me to play. Other than that, I don't. I don't touch that. Actually, my fucking uh, PlayStation Plus is about to expire. I don't even know if I'm gonna get it again. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I might just because in case I ever want to get on. But fuck, man. God oh, damn, I'm getting shit on in CS2. Fuck. <laughs> See, that's the thing, like, that I, um, that I realized, like, I mean, uh, with, uh, with any game really that you have to be you know, responsive, reactive, um, quick thinking, like, focus and all that. Um, that, uh, the, it, it's kind of funny because. Like literally nothing to do with God. Literally, like nothing to do with video game. I mean like what I'm gonna talk about does but like what I'm gonna say right now so, um in uh I think it was middle school. No, wait, was it high school? Dude, okay, this guy won't let me reload my weapon! Fuck off! Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh my god! Somebody just smacking me, I couldn't reload my weapon. Anyway, um, is that, a, uh, I don't know, I think it was when I was in, like, 10th grade. I had this, like, Spanish teacher, and she was, like, the one thing she, I, the one thing, I don't know why I remember this, but the one thing she said was, if you don't use it, you lose it. And I'm like, okay. At first, I, like, at the time, I was like, okay, like, I, <laughs> I don't really give a fuck about Spanish, but okay. Like, whatever. <laughs> Um, but, uh, but, like, that kind of freaking, it, it, like, helps with video games for me, because, like, yeah, if I, true. like, I games, so. like, I'm going multiplayer to the shit. What? I thought that place was locked out. Not anymore. GTS pulling out. Everybody okay. Um, 
uh, yeah, like, friggin' Paragon, CS, uh, really any multiplayer shit. You know, if you're not, like, playing, like, at least, maybe, an hour a day, like, yeah, you don't use it, you lose it. Like, you lose your touch, you lose your feel. Like, you forget shit. Yeah, like, like my I literally, one time I didn't play, uh, nearby. one time I lived, I didn't play, um, Paragon for, like, a week, and I'm, I'm like, I was freaking slow with, like, turning, I was like, what does this button do, what does this button do, what button do I press for this, this? and I'm like, what the fuck the is going on, like, I forgot how to play. Are reporting a break in their water service. Yeah, it's fucking, like, right now, I don't know, I felt really fucking garbage. Oh, it's pissing me off. Just gotta keep playing. Does she see us? Pisses me off too. Because of the fucking aiming is so fucking gay sometimes. Like, even when your crosshair, because of the spray, even when your crosshair is literally on their fucking body, the spray's not going there. So, like. Yeah. Oh, that fucking took me so much. Morning. Yeah, I know that pressure. because, like, when I levels. used to watch, um, Tarek, or... Uh, I think that's... How do you say his name? Um... There's, wait, did you know that he went from, uh, Optic to Plasma? Yeah. Yeah, Morning. I did. Water pressure at critical levels. Because I saw, like, a tweet in, in a Plasma. Um... But, uh, yeah, like, when I used to watch him, like, Whenever he would like be spraying someone, he would like tilt. Uh, he yeah. would uh, drag his cursor down because that's Warning. yeah. I think like Hostile forces approaching. Isn't it like your your bullets like? It's just the spray is not consistent. Yeah, so you have to when you want to spray, you have to uh, aim down at the floor kind of. Yeah. Or it, it depends on every gun, but it, yeah, you can't just spray like even if your crosshair is on them while you're spraying, it's not gonna Levels. hit. Yeah, cause like, I know sometimes like, at like, big distances, he would literally be like, sh shooting at the ground, and I'm like, what the fuck? But he's hitting the dude, but he's like, literally fucking at the ground. Yeah, that shit's weird as fuck. So it's like, uh, I, I, hate I would that never be able though. to get used to that. No, you do. You just learn spray patterns. It's not that hard, honestly. I mean, I think like, if I played it consistently, like, if I invested my time into it, I probably would. But it's just like, I don't, I don't know. It's weird for me. I just like CS just because... I don't know, it takes a lot of skill. Like, there's no bullshit, yeah. honestly. Like, there really is no bullshit. So, I really like it just because... I don't know, usually when I die, it's because someone just out-aimed me, you know? Right, yeah. Uh, I... Th I mean... Do you play Rainbow Morning. Six Siege? Water pressure at critical levels. No, I was gonna get it, but I don't know. It looks too fucking slow. It's really not, honestly. Like, there's a... If you wanna, like, check someone out, a streamer that plays it, streams it, um... There's a streamer, Clam Taco. Kind of a funny name. Thanks. He, uh, the he plays competitive. One um, a lot. At least. Uh, and he, he streams kinda late, though. At least for me, he starts his stream at like five in the morning. <laughs> yeah. um, so that would probably be two in the morning for you, I think. Cause he he lives in Germany, so um, he's like really fucking good. Yeah, I don't know. It's I don't know. I I don't know. I just same thing. The the game's not that big. I don't like playing games that aren't too big. I got pretty sure Rainbow Siege is like pretty big. Well, it is big, but like if you look on Twitch charts, it's not really that big. Like it's kind of like it, I don't know, it's not as big as it was. Well, uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, all I know is it's big competitively, but I don't know, like whatever else. I mean, uh, yeah, it sounds. I mean, at least, like, when I watch, because he plays in Platinum, which I think is the highest, or is Diamond the highest, I don't know. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, just 
just like uh, just seeing the stuff that like happens like sometimes like rounds can end in like seconds like people just play so aggressively that it's like and they get like the perfect angles and like it's just like insane like literally sometimes like people can see people like within a pixel and it's like what the fuck like how did you it's crazy pretty crazy shit, like, it's pretty cool, like, so, I, you know, if you wanna check it out, you know, there's a... Yeah, yeah I've I seen gameplay before, I think. Yeah. I think Nick, Chris, and Ice used to play that game, I don't remember. Someone All definitely had to play it, you see. We're getting reports of a cache of medical supplies at a parking lot on West Point first. I need someone to recover those meds. You want this is supply crate located. Oh my god. God. Morning. Hostile forces oh, approaching. I don't like. Oh yeah. <laughs> Crazy recon. Like if you don't have stability mods like your weapons, it's like Destiny anymore? Morning. Hostile forces Hell no. approaching. <laughs> huh? Hell no. <laughs> um, the only, I think the I think the only person I watch for Destiny is uh, well, uh, well Destiny 2 at least. Um, I used to like you know what's funny, Sir Demetrius actually has, has gone back to Destiny 1. Yeah, I seen I seen some players like Justin keep one. I saw Lumi went back and he was playing with Triple and all that. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, uh. Yeah, um. Uh, but, uh. Do you know, um. Do you know Glad from Redeem? Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh. He's the only one that I watched for Destiny 2. Uh, it was really. Uh. Because I think. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. He uploaded a video that him and like a bunch of, I think they were his client mates. Um, I didn't really see their client mates, but um, they did a uh, a callous kill in like four or five seconds. Morning. And um, hostile forces approaching. They uh like they did this bunch of stuff, like this combination of stuff. Like they meleeed, killed the dogs, then they. They had uh, they had night off. and then they popped her gold gun. They obviously they had the, the crit uh, tree, and, um, and then they they shot a callus in the head, and they did 999,999 damage. <laughs> Morning. Hostile forces approaching. Dude, give me a break with the freaking dudes. No, I didn't mean to use a med kit. What the hell? Alright, Greg. 
Alright. Huh? I'm gonna get off for a little bit and then I'll be back on later. Alright. Alright, talk to you later, Greg. Later.